It's red and today we are back. We are first lit. We are first lit going to head to the professor because he is actually going to do his demonstration um, with the electric chair. So we are going to watch the demonstration. I'm so excited for this. Oh. I'm excited. This is going to be pretty bad, I think. The mercies of knowledge. You're going to be in a better place. Stay calm. Breathe deep and repent, or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold! So humane. Oh, this is so bad. I knew it was going to be bad. But this is worse than I thought. Why is he doing it in parts? No way. No way. Oh, let's get up. You don't seem overly humane to me. Is he dead? Is the professor dead? Ooh. Like I said, I thought it was going to be bad. Can I loot him? <laughs> I'm going to loot him. What does he have? Electric chair blueprint, a miracle tonic. What's this? Sandini, patent office, electric execution, execution chair. Oh. I think it needs tweaking. Uh, yeah, I just, I cannot. Guys, he's dead. He's dead, dead, dead. Look at him. Ooh. His skin, like, they both, like, burned from the inside. The skin was, like, going black. Wow, that was... That was, that was pretty brutal. Oh, Izzy, you're in the way. Sorry. <laughs> well, I think that's it for the professor. Um, I love how everyone just like cleared out. They was like, well, uh, I don't really know what to do here, so just gonna go. Obviously, there's mixed reactions from the crowd. I, I, the woman, I don't know what the woman was thinking, but apparently she loved it. Um, What's going on over here? What's going on? Hey there. How you doing? Is it you? No. There's someone over here. This land of equality is a sham oh. and a disgrace. Hey, miss. Madam. You know, it's Terribly important. What is? Voting? Yes, terribly. Once women get the vote, the whole country will stop making such a pig's ear of everything. There'll be no more wars, no hunger, no stupidity. We'll elect a woman president within the first ten years, of course. 
Of you course. See, men are such judgmental prigs. You need oh. us women to help straighten you out. Oh. Okay? With us helping. I'm not saying there won't be trouble. I just think we'll do There'll a be better plenty. job of things. Well, I hope you're right. Good luck. <laughs> Bonjour. I mean, obviously, votes for women. I'll of course. I'll stand here until I die if I have to. But... I don't care. I don't know. Some I of her reasonings are a little... I am a citizen. They're a little harsh. But I feel like it's like that with everything. When uh, there's a super strong opinion on one side that's really one-sided then another super strong opinion will be will become on the other side you know what i mean if there's like an extreme to like one opinion there's going to be an extreme to the complete opposite opinion it's like that with everything so It's funny how we just go to her and she just kind of like tries to convince Arthur that it's a good idea and that that is all. There's nothing that we can do to help. If she was like, please donate to this campaign, I'd be like, sure. Yeah, take the money. But no, it's just going to basically listen to her talk. Um, okay. Stranger. Dutch mentioned that the gang might be able to help Evelyn Miller with lobbying officials' rights. So, because we are in Saint Denis, uh, we are going to do this first. Also, I know, I know that some of you guys have mentioned. Um, the journal. I have found the journal. I could not find this anywhere. So I'm going to open it. Um, read. Coltel, we have been running for weeks. I mean, running more than usual. The job they was pulling in in Blackwater. Robbing that ferry, it turned into a disaster. Young Jenny got killed, poor thing. While Sean and Mac both got arrested or killed, nobody seems sure which. Dutch shot a girl. I am not too sure if by accident or design, and seems like it might have been a setup. We took to the hills in an almighty scramble, leaving money and most of our things behind. Don't you have somewhere far, far away that you're supposed to be right now? Wanted? Well, lawmen will become suspicious if you loiter in certain areas for too long. Move quickly to avoid their attention? So I can't even just stand in a spot? That's... Uh, that's crazy. Really? <laughs> Really, Sandini? Really? I was doing nothing but reading my journal. That's the most peaceful thing that I could do. There are people all around this town standing. Look at him, sat here, standing here. They probably do this day in, day out. They're not getting questioned by the law. I was just reading my journal. Oh, okay. Um, going okay. Back to this. Uh, read. Yeah, we took to the hills in an almighty scramble, leaving money and most of our things behind. Then, as we were fleeing east over the Grizzlies, an almighty storm hit us. Davy Callender, who got shot in the gut on the raid, passed away. It was brutal to watch, and the rest of us nearly froze. But we found shelter and have been oh, resting enough. here in some old abandoned mining town while we await the thaw. Yeah. 
How many is there? How many pages are there? It's quite a lot. Ooh. Yeah, there's quite, there's quite a bit. Okay, can we go to, like, the last page? Um, okay. Shady Bell. Met this fella. Algernon. Was. Not sure how to describe him, but I won't forget him anyway. I could not do him justice. A uh, different kind of fella, but he says he'll pay good money for assorted feathers and eggs and whatnot for his creations for various rich women. Gave me a list of things he wants. So that is the most recent entry. Their husbands weren't so keen on the liberties he'd be taking with his subject matter. The whole thing descended into a brawl, had to help him escape. Who? Oh, I went to an art gallery. Yeah, it seems fine and fancy living uh, ain't quite so different from life in the wilderness. Robbing stagecoaches was an ex was an exhibition of paintings by the artist I met a couple of times. Charles something or other, French fella, seems to be doing more than painting his models. Yeah, doing a little bit more with his models than just painting them. So. Um. But yeah, we're gonna do this mission if we can, although it seems to be locked. I don't know why. Is unavailable due to your recent <laughs> crimes. My recent crimes of just literally sitting on my horse reading my journal. Really? Okay. So I need to clear out of the area and then come back to the area so that I can do this because oh, there we go Anders who's who the hell is Anders should I take a pamphlet you can go around okay I'm not moving my horse what is this? According to the great teaching, Chelonia awaits master, you. The future of a better, safer America. Is our heaven, and the two America. oceans are our shells. It is only here that we can truly be ourselves, where man can find his place in heaven. This, this is Chelonia, the one true American's religion. The one true Bible that was handed down 100 years ago, this year, to our prophet from above. Hello, mister. Hello, sir. Can I interest you in Chelonianism? I don't know. Can you? Well, I hope so. It is a fascinating religion that was taught to a very wise master about 100 years ago in a land not very far from here. Take a book, please. Okay. You've made a wonderful choice. I don't know. Okay. It is a religion of safety. A religion made by gods who understood what life is. Not what life could be, but what it is. And it is very dangerous. Mm. But with Chelonianism, it can be safe. It can be safe. Well, it's all in this book. Uh, am I boring you? Uh, a, little. a little bit. Yeah. I'm sorry. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Goodbye. I have no idea what he was talking about. I still don't know. I'm probably not going to read the pamphlet. <laughs> But thanks. I want you to be safe. Okay. Oh, sorry, Izzy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Now we can go and we can do this. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 
I'm sorry. Oh, this place is so crowded. Hey, mister. Hey, do I know you? Mister, I believe we've met. We have. But that American fathers. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Fathers. So, mister. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Really? Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen. We saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. Yes, my mm. people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is. Of course. But I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, mm. I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man, I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you <laughs> to <all> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, at appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Mr. Miller, the counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Wow. Meet Eagle Flies near Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar. Okay. So we might have to do some sneaking, do some stealth. Sounds like it. Um, but he said to meet in a few days. So in the meantime, in between time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go talk to Sadie. Sadie Adler. She wants to speak to us. So I guess we can speak to her, I guess, because we have the time. Ooh, there's a coach robbery mission available with Micah. Come here, Arthur. Rob a stagecoach? What yeah. Do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old misery guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. <laughs> well, I, I want a friend, Arthur. You I want, want a friend, hope. Micah. I want tomorrow. You want to mean more than today. I want this whole mm. damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. Mm. But I ain't holding my breath. Yeah, I wouldn't. 
So, instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Mm. Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. Ooh. And you'll find this time I always buy. No, you always <laughs> talk. But with coaches, guns are more significant than words. Mm. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we Let's need Let's go make some gun? money. Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? We're taking Bill? Stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Mark and Bill. This is death sentence. There's you said it, Arthur. We can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite. I got two pistols. I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. <laughs> well, let's go. <laughs> I'm joking. So, who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an old Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside oh. at Bowles Over. Sorry, there. Lenny. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. You're proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be I agree with that. So we can For once, faster. I agree with Micah. I prefer a tight They do keep leaving a trail. Five or six strong gunmen. Which is well, why they keep getting caught. Stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellers. For a year, wasn't it? Something like mm. that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. I got no doubts about John. I've known him for 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, we're gonna need to cut some loose. Let's cut across here, it'll be quicker. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. It's <sighs> too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in. Everyone does their share. Oh, what a piece of work, Mike is. Uh, Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. Oh, uh, that's different. See, it, it, this is what I mean. I've always liked He doesn't that even put money to in, into the pot. Kind of I'm pretty sure we asked. It was Strauss that we asked? Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. <laughs> you just don't understand. So, I don't really, know. Morgan. <laughs> you got that right. Okay, <laughs> here we are. I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming through any minute now. Okay, I'm putting my mask on. I'll put Izzy here. I'll set them in the road over here so we can blow it as it comes over the bridge. Got some good cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. Williamson, you take the other side. Take cover and wait for the coach. All right. Why every single time do I have this random selection of guns? 
It's always like the Lancaster. It's just so weird. Okay. I'm joking. We can't anyway. I would try. <laughs> Here they come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. Shoot the dynamite as the coach rolls over it. Three, two. Okay. Ooh. <gasps> Where did he go? He's there. He's mine. Okay. Is there more coming? Oh, there's more coming! Arthur, Arthur, Arthur! Ooh. Ooh. There he is. Bill! What are you... <laughs> Bill's just standing in the middle of the road, just getting shot. Okay, loot the coach. Oh, it's inside, is it? Oh. How much we get, cowpoke? Enough. Here. Thank you kindly. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Maybe I had you wrong, Arthur. Maybe you can win as well as fight. Or maybe you was lucky. Uh, we'll see, I guess, how lucky any of us is. Exactly. All right. Better get out of here. Split up, I reckon. Mm-hmm. Um, total take, $300. Gang share, $150. Our shares, $50. Uh, we've done better. Definitely done better. But it was easy, quick, fast money, so I cannot complain. Where's Izzy? Is she following me? Yes, she is. Okay. I've just seen some stuff pop up on the map. Oh, who's this? Marco Dragic. Marco Dragic invited you to visit him at his lab on Dover Hill. It's very far away. It's very, very far away from here. Um, I still want to do the Sadie mission. I also want to do a bounty. I do want to do a bounty just because... Ooh, a $90 reward for Elias Green. $90. It's more just, it's literally just for fun. I do the bounties just for fun because they're fun. You know, it's fun to shoot people and go after people and stuff. Um, at this point, obviously, like I said before, I don't need the money. But I'll take it for sure. Oh, this is Eagle Flies. Yeah. So we can meet him now, but I do want to see, uh, I do want to see Marco because why not, you know, a bright bouncing Hello? boy. <sighs> Finally. Professor, I ain't here to rob you. It's me. I am. Um, I helped you at the pond. You did? Oh, 
You did. <laughs> it's the buffoon. Hello. Hello. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved biggest problem and you mess it up. Did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. What? How is that our fault? It, it is uh, the geometry of life. The, the grand theory of uh, power. <laughs> it's the grand theory of theories. <laughs> uh, there is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things and I will show you what I mean. Here, take this. Oh, well, uh... I'm not much of a scientist. Yeah, well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. Go? And do what? You have the detector in your hand. The filament flashes when it points at the locations for conductors. Follow flashes up in hills and plant conductor rod where filament goes solid. When all three conductors in place, lightning strikes the rod, and we harness power of nature to make light. <sighs> okay. So. Just keep going to where it flashes to. And hope that lightning will strike. And I guess this is why the weather is so bad. Because it has to be for this experiment. Okay. Okay, so this is a conductor. Over here. I, I still don't get any of this, but okay. The parts that I do get make sense-ish. Yeah, it only flashes over here, so I'm going to keep going over here. Let's keep going. Pretty far, I think. Is it? I've lost it. Okay, so not that far. Over here. There we go, we're getting closer. Um. Go up, Arthur, go up. going up here okay I think we have three what does bang up mean oh and I've slid yeah me too Marco me too quite dangerous actually I hope he's gonna pay us or something I don't understand why he can't do this you know Destroying 
There we go. One to go. Right. out of here. Oh, don't fall off the cliff. Arthur. It seems like Marco is very excited about this experiment. And that makes one of us. Okay. Wonderful! <laughs> I wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. What now? Well, now, I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like this. Am I missing something? Oh, uh, the switches. The bloody switches. Okay. Uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go, quick, please. Climb up. Climb the tower and operate the switching array. Um, climb. Oh, there's a ladder. Okay. Um, how do I how do I get get up there? Do I go around or? Do I just climb on the thing? There we go. God damn it. What I got myself into. Oh, I have a bad feeling. I have a bad feeling about this, you guys. Is that good or no? Middle? No. Okay. <gasps> so I don't get like... Wait, what? Okay, switch that off, and then this. Okay. Um, it's not. I I doubt it's. I, I it's not an order that's going. Not safe, Arthur. What? Oh, ah. Oh, it's pretty though. Return to Marco. Okay. I feel like this might end the way the professor ended. <laughs> I just I get that vibe, you know. I don't even really know what he's doing. Still. Are you ready? Sure. Second time lucky, eh? Second time? More like 7,000th. 
This is my life's work. It is incredible. Stop! No way! It's a robot? It's an actual robot. <laughs> uh... Shall it? For now. I am so <laughs> oh, You just saw creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have yeah. a son. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons, they doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes, yes. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. Huh? <laughs> so we did all of that for a robot, which is pretty cool, but for a robot to take two steps before falling flat on its face, it just, okay. I mean, I was hoping to, like, get a little payment or something. I mean, all the gizmos he has in here. We got nothing but a pat on the back. Look at him. With his son. It's a really cool-looking robot, I have to admit, though. It's very... It's, it's very pretty-looking. Okay, then, girl. But, wow. We're probably going to have to come back. I have a feeling. I was expecting him to like get shocked and die, you know? Yeah. But it didn't happen. Yeah. That's not good. Is there a snake or something? Oh, 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 I did not mean to do that. I really did not mean to do that. Ugh. It's so easy to unintentionally start a fight on here. And it's like, it really was not what I was trying to do. I do apologize. There is a witness now. Oh no, okay. We're gonna hogtie him. And we're gonna threaten him. It'd be hilarious if my horse started pooping. No. Oh really? This is very kind of you. What? I, this is so annoying. God damn it. Murder? Nice meeting you. Oh no, he's really he's really running. Every single time this happens, this happens. Go, Izzy, go. I'm gonna have to shoot him. Sorry. I don't want no troubles. Wow. It's always such a mess and they always 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 this is like I'm so far outside 
of anything? Yeah. Why are there a bunch of NPCs just casually rolling about now? It makes no sense. All of a sudden, when you murder someone, a crowd starts to appear, you know? Like, it just gets really busy for no reason. For no reason at all. Anyway. Anyways. Um, let me just... Let me see what we have here. So... After that little escapade, I... What do I want to do? Should we meet Eagle Flies? Such a great name. Um, that would require us to fast travel to Valentine. Which is not an issue. So that's what we're going to do. Fast travel to Valentine. Uh. Well, but yeah, I expect that we'll um, have to go visit Marco again in the future and maybe help him with his robot in some way. I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's a robot, which is obviously very interesting, but what is the robot just a robot? Just It just walks and moves its limbs, or does it, like, do something? I don't know. But we have a new journal entry. So, I want to read it. Okay. Read. Went to see the professor at his lab. He had built a sort of mechanical sun. He seemed to think it was amazing, but we could not get the thing to work properly. I was not half as impressed with him as he was with himself. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, a new building? This wasn't here before, was it? You there. Oh, did somebody call us? Hello, gentlemen. Yeah? What do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? Oh, I mean, brother. obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See, even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Yeah, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen. Uh... Just make sure 
everyone knows, you asked me to do this. Yeah. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Okay. Don't Please move. Put us out of our misery. <laughs> you got mine, and I barely even flinched. What are you both doing? Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. What was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. Uh, as long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, yeah. You are so silly. Yeah. Okay. Shoot, sir, while our courage holds. Ready? <laughs> okay. Of course. Good shot, sir. Over here, sir. There it goes. <laughs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen? Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. <laughs> I don't want to do You're this. Deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brains, if you put Excellent. Fine shooting. Don't and move too me. much. Stop moving. Okay. <laughs> now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. No. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Yeah. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue. It's a wrap. I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering oh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Too much, too much. No, my sweet. <sighs> It'd be hilarious to actually shoot them in the face. I'm so sure that you can, but I didn't want to, obviously. But if I was playing a bad honor playthrough, like if I was doing this and wanted Arthur to be a whole ass, as they say, um, as Charles says, then I would enjoy doing that so much. It'd be so great, it really would. If it's like a second playthrough, then I would 100% do a bad on a playthrough. But because it is my first, I want to experience Arthur being somewhat good. Maybe not the best, and maybe not completely innocent, but just relatively a good man. Fundamentally, you know? I'm gonna get some supplies at the store as well, seeing as I am here. Been a while since you came through town, ain't it? Oh, it's been Got a while. You need. Have a look. I kind of had to, you know, leave. I can get you anything in there you need. But so we're back for some tonics. Mmm. If we can grab some. Nope, we can't. Okay, let's get some food then. Uh, canned food, like some mm. kidney beans, some pineapples, some corned beef, it's some salmon, yours. corn, Enjoy. some carrots, get some apples for Izzy. Some cheese wedges are great for my dead eye. That's done. I'm gonna buy some meat just because I haven't really ran into any deer um, or anything to like hunt. So uh, we'll just 
you know, buy the food and then give it to camp. And that because that's, should be good. that's a nice thing to do, right? Okay. Thanks for your assistance. Um, Eagle flies. Let's go meet him. Ooh, should we see the show? Should we? Uh oh. You got this. Who else wants some? Huh? Sure, I'll shoot you. Wouldn't mind some practice. Well, let's get to it then. Okay. You piece of shit. Oh. Good. And there we go. And there we go. That's all she wrote. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that. Um. Was that a show? Was that a good show, guys? Yeah? It was great, right? It's pretty good. He had nothing on him. That's hilarious. Speaking of a show, as I was about to say, seeing as we are here and I haven't checked this out yet. Ah, looking to see your show? Yes. 50 cents. Can I buy a ticket, please? Okay, head on in. Tent to your left. Okay. Oh, this is kind of rough, isn't it? I guess I'll sit down and watch the show. Welcome, one and all, to the remarkable example of modern entertainment at its finest. Now, most of you youngins, I'm sure, know about our great national hero and pioneer, Josiah Blackwater. Him that gave the town of Blackwater its nomenclature. You see, only about a hundred years ago, weren't nothing here but big old force, ferocious beasts, surly savages, arid deserts, and unconquered mountains. The West, well, the whole West was untamed. Your mama probably told you bedtime stories about Josiah's many adventures. But I'm gonna tell you a story you ain't likely to have heard about his possum hat. Now, Josiah Blackwater was born in the year of our Lord, 1782, in a log cabin just west of Ansburg. He was a special boy. His pa gave him his first rifle when he was three years old. Boy, he took to it right away. He exclaimed, There's a whole mess I love how he's smoking a pipe and has like a full on beard as like a toddler. Yes, sir. He he's got a mustache. Slick tear. One morning, he was sorting up some winter turnips. Look at him. When a big old bear and her cubs came in the kitchen hunting for food, it had a mind to eat up all the jams and preserves. Josiah grabbed that bear and wrestled her to the ground and squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. He whooped the tar clean out of that big old critter. Then he tied her up, grabbed them cups, and ground them into sausages while the mama bear watched. I'm and sure this is all evening. true. His mom and pa knew right then he was cut out to be the finest wild frontiersman that ever drew breath. But first, they wanted him to get some book learning. After only three days of attending school, Josiah beat the living daylights out of a class bully and announced to his daddy that he was of course, tired of, of course he did. Only good for he was just the hero. He was not a hero. So, Josiah he was home. the hero uh, of just everything, everywhere. Savages, then. And when Josiah Blackwater came scouting through, he recognized it to be a land of splendor. Wasted on those that couldn't appreciate it on account of worship and false idols. He got rid of all them pesky buffalo. I and bet he did. Those infernal engines didn't have nothing to eat. Of course, that got them mightily riled up. So he had to slaughter all of them, too. Just like his daddy had once done to the Redcoats in 1775. Right about that time, he met an Indian girl he took pity on, on account of having annihilated her family. She was 12 years old, and so he took her as his wife. She gave him two sons before she died of typhus. 
Now, y'all know that Josiah Blackwater wore a possum for a hat. But most don't know how that came to be. She was 12 years old. Josiah was riding a couple of alligators down the Lana Hatchie River. Riding, standing up, and shooting eagles right out of the sky. When he sees a big old mountain lion about to eat a possum. Josiah grabbed that mountain lion by the tail and wrestled it till it was plumb dead. This is so well, ridiculous. Josiah followed him around like a dog loyal to its master. Yes, they had a lot of adventures together. Now Josiah never cried a day in his life, but he pert near dead on the day that possum passed. For they were mighty fine friends. So he skinned it and made it into a hat. Back in them days, a possum oh. was as good as money. But he never parted with that hat. Not even for ten dollars. Well, that's interesting. I can believe No, I can't believe that. <laughs> it was the last stop in the West before San Francisco. He met a girl by the name of Rufina Helsby at a barn dance one night. Took her as his wife and settled down. Built I'm guessing she Empire was probably fifteen. No. <laughs> but Josiah Blackwater wasn't the home loving kind. His first wife was 12, the second one, who knows. You may all go to hell, and I will go to Saint Denis. And so he did. Enjoyed French pursuits of strumpets and walking gluttony, which is where he came upon the idea of running for Congress. He wore that possum hat every day as a congressman, as a reminder of where he come from. Saying, I may live in barbaric splendor, but I always remember. Keep your friends close and your gun closer. Because you don't know when you might have to shoot them. The end. Oh, bravo, bravo. What a beautiful and wonderful and completely accurate story. The story of Josiah Blackwater. All completely factual stuff. Everybody was enthralled with the show. Completely worth seeing. So long. I really love how when you step out of like a, a dark area into the outside, it's just like a super brightness that hits you. It's so accurate really is yeah Josiah Blackwater the legend hero of the nation mm -hmm. wow idiot this ain't happening somebody help okay Not, not as good as the Sandini shows, but definitely interesting, an interesting watch, I have to say. Hmm. I I don't know if it's if they'll have like different shows for that you know for Valentine or if it's just Josiah Blackwater. I wouldn't be surprised if it was just that show, but maybe maybe they have different ones as well. Like I said, it's not as interesting as. Um, San Denise, but it was it was okay. Hello. You came. Of course yes, I came. Yes, we did. Shadowwood. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. 
They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Okay, go, go, go. Perfect. I feel like the, the, they're gonna see him though, no? Like he's just in the back of the wagon. It's completely open. Surely he's gonna get seen. Now it's night time as well. Uh. Oh, I always get worried when it comes to doing stealth type stuff, you know. You guys know, you guys know that I'm I'm not saying I'm the worst, but it's just touch and go, isn't it? I'd rather just go in, guns blazing, shoot, shoot, shoot. Is that you, Al? Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Okay. I thought I was going to look in. Like I said, I'm right in the back. Like, so obviously sneaking in. There's so many guards everywhere as well. All right, I'm gonna start loading up. Oh god! Sneak into the factory. Okay, sneak, sneak, Arthur, sneak. wearing a mask because I feel like that helps with things and things. <gasps> Where's he going? Come on, Alpha, come on. Easy, 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 easy. Ah, da, 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 da. You do, 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 and we're sneaking in, na, na, na. Da, 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 da. Where's this god? Is he down the stairs? I think so. Okay, we're doing this slowly. And I'm really nervous. Okay, easy, Arthur. Do, 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 do. Not doing anything. Not, not, you know, nothing's going on. Just, oop, 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 oop. Easy, Arthur, easy. Easy, Arthur, easy. <laughs> Guys, I'm nervous. Go, 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 go. <sighs> uh, oh. You must be damn Barry. Oh. Quiet yourself, friend. This won't take long. <laughs> Dan Barry. Yes? I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti? I... I... Oh! Danbury, think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. Mm. Especially over such a nice I... floor as this. It's here! It's here! 
better get it quick. Hurry up, hurry up. You're doing good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Good. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. <laughs> Escape the office through the window. Can I not beat him up, though? There we go. I didn't kill him, did I? No, I didn't. I just knocked him out. That's good. That's good. Okay. Is there anything else in here or no? swap hats for his hats? I don't think so. Time to escape. Hey, 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 hold it right there. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Take me! Uh oh. Uh oh. <gasps> Shoo! That's a whole lot of fellers. I'm gonna do some shooting. I can take on all of you guys. Trust me. This is not a fight that you will win. Eagle. Come on, Arthur. I'm coming. Did you get the documents? Yes. Yeah, but we need to get the hell out of here. Follow me. Escape the factory with eagle flies. I mean, obviously, um. Jumping out of the window was a bad idea. Oh god. There we go. Shoot them. Hang on. There we go. I don't see any more of them. Good. <sighs> Explosion came just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliged. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope, but who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Two hundred and fifty gang share one two five our share one two five. Okay, that was good. And it turns out that he did pay and that all was well. Although, I don't think it's going to stop there. They might require more yeah. of Arthur's services later on. That was, uh, that was a good little deal, to be fair. Anyways... Anyways, it's now time, I think, to see Charles and Saint Denis. Who's this damsel in distress? Hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Um, gonna rest. Set up camp. Fast travel to Sandini and go see Charles and bail him out of another situation that he has found himself in because he's too busy messing with married women, etc., etc. So, um, yeah, I don't know if it's, I don't know if the mission is still going to be there if we go see Sadie. So, I'm just going to do it now. And then we'll go back to camp. Oh. <sighs> Like, I mean, we did pretty, we did okay in that mission, didn't we, guys? I mean, the, I really, I was stealthing through it, and then Arthur had to ruin it by jumping out of the window and sliding down. Yeah. So, there was nothing that could have been done there. That part was not my fault. Ooh, it's very misty in Sandini. Yeah, there's a girl. Very misty. Um, there's a new journal entry as well. <laughs> the twins. Okay. Is that it? Oh. Okay. Met a real pair of... Well, I don't know quite what they were. Names were so ridiculous, I won't even begin to try to remember them. But they were Greek or Latin or gibberish. A uh, pair of twins, dead keen on insulting each other and hitting each other to impress all women. Uh, you know, like you, like, you know, as you do. I've done lots of stupid things to impress women, but this was ridiculous. I ended up being William Tell. I think they were college boys, I guess. Education ain't always the answer to mankind's problems. Nice enough boys, but odd as hell. I agree, Arthur. I agree. You really get a sense and a, uh, a good feel of Arthur's personality. He's really not, you know, when it comes to like, um, if it's with anything really, cut scenes or not, he's really not like a talkative person. Like he's very one, one way, which is like, dismisses most things, doesn't like most things, you know. It's very, like, it's it's kind of off-putting, but you kind of get, you kind of get glimpses, what with Mary and stuff, as to more of his personality. You're so welcome. Um, and the journal especially, after just reading it already, you can, you can definitely get a great sense of his thought process and his, his feelings, um, You'll see, this here? see what? You, you spend all day on boy? that one, huh? <laughs> You deaf, mister? What is it? Don't you follow me, pervert? Uh, what? I have no idea. Are they, they were drinking? Wow, kids. Kids were drinking on the street. Being hostile. It's not good. It's not. Charles? 
What the hell are you My wearing? Friend, it is me, Charles Chatonnet, the painter. <laughs> okay. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. As bad as it is, <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. Yeah, I agree. They say leave. I agree. Go far away. Arthur. We will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. No, I can't I believe we're doing this. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'd never know. Look at his little booty as he walks. What? Charles is something else. He really is. He said, I shat on their bar. I believe and I believe it. I really do. Come now, follow me. So he's trying to leave, oh, is basically you, you what he's saying. But of course, yeah. I needed to shit. Hey, come on. My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there. Remind me to avoid that place. Yeah. Entirely. Avoid it completely. Arthur. Back. Back. The money lenders. We go another way. We go through ah. here. Oh, 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 oh. What's this? Oh, quickie! Oh, oh, oh. oh. It's nothing. Oh. I thought I knew him. Oh. Please do not do that again. Oh. Now get moving, come on. They just kissed? Arthur kissed a man? So, wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of failures. Not so much. The new kinds are deep. The whole in offense. We go through there. Ain't no it's a cute outfit. I'll give him that. No more. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, like I said, the outfit is really cute, so I'm sure it's getting some attention from some people. Until they notice the beard. I was going to buy the red ones to you know. colors in your cheeks, but then I thought the Hush, hey, I may know these people. But maybe something gayer. A purple perhaps. The way he's walking as well. He's very much in character. Shitting, money borrowing, wife stealing. <laughs> you sure got a way of ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose yeah. of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed the feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse during I challenge. I challenge. A mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth. That is something that matters. Is this well, how French people sound if they speak English or no? Look at, you, thing. Look at that. He's getting all the attention. Come on. Come on back now, baby. <sighs> that is hilarious. He's playing into it as well. Like there's, there's no, there's no reason for him to play into it. Maybe he just likes the attention. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. Wait, 
made it. We made it. Oh no 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 no. Uh oh. He's out here. Uh, more friends. I'll deal with them. Okay. Well, you I want some? Beat him up, Arthur. Come on, Arthur. There you go. One left. Oh. Knock him out, Arthur. Charles? Come on. You better hope this ship's Ooh. leaving soon. Ooh. Merci. Merci. This looks interesting. It's just a it's just a standard shotgun. Okay. Adieu. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah yes, I hear there. The light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. Oh, I'm going to miss him. Ah. Leave the area. Oh no. Can I jump in the water? Am I gonna drown? I might drown. Leave the area, Arthur. Keep going. There's a ladder. Okay. Can we make it? Come on, Arthur. Come on. Oh god. Oh god. Go! Okay, we made it. We made it. We made it. Now I'm wanted. Okay. Run, Arthur, run and keep running. We got a bounty. Oh. Um, I need something for my stamina. This will do. Let's have another. Okay. They're still investigating, so I can't pay off my bounty just yet. I am going to miss Charles though, he was a lot of fun actually. So far I would say he is um, my, f he was my favourite side mission, for sure. I wish we had more missions with him, instead of like Albert or someone, you know? You have op unopened mail. Good to see you again, mister. Okay, let's pay the, the bounty. Because there are lawmen everywhere in Saint Denis, so <laughs> um, we'll do that and then receive the mail invitation did from mayor the from the mayor. Let's see. Um, it was lovely to make your acquaintance at the residence the other night. You meet so many people at these kinds of functions, it is hard to keep track. I did notice, however, that you were near my study when poor Pierre had an accident and some documents simply disappeared. Now I have spent far when too long me, in politics to make accusations station, wildly, but just... Coming in and out of this place, you know? But just long enough to know when I am owed a small favor. Perhaps your gung ho frontier spirit and my cold old world cynicism could work quite well together. Indulge me in a meeting at least. Come to the back of the. I try to help. Mayoral residence. Any night you wish. Knock on the door, and my assistant, Jean Mark, will let you in. I hope to see you soon. Your newest friend, Henry. 
Okay. Henry. Thank you. Really. Appreciate the invite, Henry. Um. Okay. Well, now it's finally time to see Sadie. Um. Yeah. There's nothing else. So. I'm gonna get Izzy. Where is she? Izzy! There she is. Come on, girl. She's walking on the pavement. She's just... She's so stupid. <laughs> Bless her. Oh, Izzy. Okay. There's another show. Ooh, there's a new show on... Uh-oh. Another one? A eugenics supporter? What? Is it the same guy? The facts are simple. Life is war. And the war is between races. If you want to die, then go ahead. But I want my race, the master race, to live forever. And I'm prepared to prove my mastery by force, if necessary. It's the same guy, it's no? It's kill or be killed out there in nature. Always has been. We killed Trees him. Trees kill each other. Flowers kill each other. Even sheep kill each other. So let's stop pretending. It's time we was more like sheep. It's time to kill. <laughs> So I can't talk to him. But what I can do is something even better. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Run, run, run. Other, other, other. Forget the loot, forget the loot, forget the loot. $2.50? Oh. I will take the bounty of $2.50. No problem. That was worth it. Worth it. Still two dollars fifty. Here's a life. Two dollar fifty. That's how much he was worth. Oh jeez. <laughs> I would do it again. And if he suddenly reappears, I will continue. I will continue to do that. Now all of a sudden, yeah, now all the lawmen come out, right? Yeah. There was no police, and now all of a sudden, police are everywhere. <laughs> okay, they are still chasing me. It's almost like they want me to shoot them, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to run. Why does this have like a weird little club symbol next to it? That's strange. Okay. I don't know if I should go back to camp if I'm wanted, so maybe I'll try and lose them in the forest. Yeah, they're searching. The hell was that? Is that a... Oh, it's just a tree. It's just a tree trunk. Yep. Oh, this area. There we go. Okay. $2.50. I will happily pay it. When I get a chance, <laughs> I will pay off my bounty of two dollars and fifty cents. As if I literally shot him in the face, in the streets, 
And in front of several lawmen. Uh, and all the bounty was $2.50. That was it. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious to think, like I said, that that is all he was worth. Ooh. Okay, so supplies. Yeah. Um. Hi, Tilly. I'll be fine. Thank you, Arthur. Of course. Just glad you're okay. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure, Arthur. Um. Miss Grimshaw? Miss <laughs> Grimshaw? Yes, what is it? Uh, have you seen Karen? Oh. The O'Driscoll boy? No, I haven't. Firstly, he isn't an O'Driscoll, and secondly, I'm worried. Ooh, well, I'm sure he'll turn up. His sort normally do. Okay. Thank you. Everything okay? Arthur, have you seen Kieran around anywhere? Well, come to think of it, no, not for a while. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, then. <laughs> no, I haven't seen Kieran in a while. Hello, well, Arthur. never mind. Anyways. Right. Everything all right? Sure. Okay. Arthur, Bill. Give me some room here. All Sorry, right, all I'm right, in the all right. On. Yeah, real funny. Hosea. So it's a city bank, and then we're off. It's what you wanted. It's what we need. If we can manage it. City banks are hard. But we got a lot of guns. True. You think we can do it? True. I hope so. I really do. Mm. Uh -huh. Oh, it's John. There he is. Hi there, Arthur. You're keeping busy? Trying to. That's well, good. Don't let me stop you. Sounds good. Okay. Hey, Susan. Susan. Hello, Mr. Morton. You got this place whipped into shape, all right. I'm trying. She's knitting. That's Can cute. Can only imagine what we'd be like left to our own devices. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. Yes, it does, Susan. Ooh, Dutch. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Hello, Arthur. Hello, Dutch. Anything I need to worry about? Not right this minute. Okay, good. Okay, Arthur. Okay, Dutch. Strauss. It was good working with you, Mr. Strauss. Yes, well, I suppose it worked out in the end. Yeah, we did good. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, Mr. Morgan. Mmm. Ooh, is the shoe ready, Pearson? Well, I'm gonna be the first to try it. They're getting hungry, Mr. Morgan. I'm Who getting is? hungry. The people you haven't fed. Me? When did that become my job? Others are pulling their weight. Ah, oh, give it a rest, we. Wow. I mean, he's right. <laughs> that is how you get good he's morning. right. Just been super busy doing other stuff and stuff. Been getting money. You know? I love how we just drop the spoon and just let it fall into the dirt. <laughs> okay. Now, let me go to the meat counter and give Pearson some meat. Donates. I really need you boys to get out there and hunt. Supplies are low. Donate all of this. Donate all of this. Don't you overcook this now, Pearson. Um, you can have a heart Thank as well. You. You're welcome. 
Um, I know you can have this. Low. Why not? You can have these feathers. Sure. Might as well make some money off it. Many thanks, okay. Mr. Morgan. Yeah, you're so welcome, Pearson. You're welcome. Um, what are these guys doing? You wait. Room by the fire here, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Got you there, tough guy. Just name the place, my friend. Just name the place. What did he do? How are you, Mary see. Beth? Good. How was the big party at the mayor's house? Oh, not really Splendid. my thing, but we got some good information out of it. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Sure thing. Hello, not Javier. Bad. Javier's not that talkative, really, is he? He doesn't really say much. Hey, boy. Come here. What kind of dog is he? Catola. Catola. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Catola. Reverend. I've been wanting to ask you something. I've been wanting to for days. Okay. What is it? I can't remember. Oh, this frightful curse. I've ruined my life with it. Then stop doing it. Oh, no, sir. I can't do that. Really. I can't. <laughs> okay, Reverend. Good chat, Reverend. As always, Reverend. It's always pleasant talking to you. Now, I have seen... <laughs> is, that, is that Bill just chilling on the, on the chair? That's hilarious. You okay, old man? Oh, sure. <laughs> just dandy, partner. Just dandy. Oh, Jose is coughing. That's not good, right? Oh, Arthur, that's stop freaking me out. To look busy and sit down. Yeah, you got that down to a fine art. You want me to sit? We can have a conversation, or hey, hey. What? Sorry. No, I'll stop it now. Oh, just go away. You told me to sit down, and then you fall asleep on me? Forget this. I'm out. I want to go see Lenny. Um, what is this? It's a coach robbery. Arthur decides to help Lenny attempt to rob a banking coach. I, uh, I mean, I know I came to see Sadie, but how can I resist doing some sport with my favorite person, one of my favorite people, Lenny? Doing? Nothing? I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. Mm. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, 
Who you want to go with? I guess you. Now? Okay, then. <laughs> I don't need no hand holding off it. Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had the look, I'm taking half the money. Of course. All right. Let's get going, then. It should be on its way right now. Okay. Time to go have some fun with Lenny. Shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Yeah. Yeah, no. I remember it like it was yesterday, Lenny. Place behind, if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least yeah. he's got a roof. You've got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the juniors. Oh, you <laughs> ain't even twenty years old. Time will come. Yeah. Follow me. I saw a good spot for an ambush. So who's the fella told you about this? It's a sound lead. I told you. And what do you have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? Yeah. He's just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay. Okay, I do. You've more than proved yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. No. Uh, those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Of course. Lenny's a good boy. He's too good for this kind of life, you know? But I feel like most of the people in the gang just kind of have the same story of like hardship and you know then them seeking justice and then them being uh the person with the bounty on their heads when really what they did was morally sound but it's not everyone just i'd say most obviously micah um micah maybe not so much but Lenny is good. I wonder about Hosea. I wonder hmm, about Strauss. Would be interesting to know Strauss's uh, background. Well, a little bit. Bill. Uh, Mm. Reverend. Mm. Mm. Okay, here we are. But yeah. Okay. Mask on. Yes. Off the road to the right here. Okay. Get my trusty, dusty carbine. I figured we take up position behind these rocks. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. Okay. I'm gonna have a little token potion. Uh, a token potion? That's a pretty view though. It's nice. It's pretty. Oh, here it is. And I don't see no escorts neither. <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. Don't you get sure too excited, that? Lenny. You see any? Um, as soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? Oh, God. I said wait for my lead. This is a robbery. Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. Oh. One moment, guys. They drop the weapon. Okay, okay, just take it easy. All right, boy. Anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me. Last chance. Come out, or we're coming in. Shit. <gasps> uh oh. What? I've got my mask on. How does that make sense? Oh, they're lawmen. 
bounty, twelve dollars. Your time is up, you bastard. Oh. Thank you, Lenny. Appreciate that. Oh, is there more? Oh, over there. You can hear the gooey sounds of it entering the skull. You laugh? Yeah. The bullet entering. Evidently. It's fun. Was not the it's way pleasant. I was it's expecting nice. things to go. You took us into a trap. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait. Look. Look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much. Because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps. Oh, to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. You're still alive, so don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp. Total take $100. Our share, $25. Hey, and I'm getting out of here before more NPCs show up, because they will. Come on, Lenny. Let's go back to camp. With our tail between our legs. And a little bit more money in our pockets, but not much more money than we had the first time. Is he going back to camp? Yeah, I think he is. How does the bounty get increased? from two dollars is he coming Hi, Lenny. Hey, I guess I'll just meet him yeah. I'll just meet him there but yeah we shot everyone so I I like who's gonna go back and report that we did that you know who's gonna know that that was us Somehow, some way, they knew, and now my bounty is twelve dollars fifty. So much money is too much for me to afford. Okay, let me feed my horse before she dies of starvation. Uh, a bit of a carrot. You can have a carrot, Izzy. Who's that? It's me. Is that Lenny? Look who's back. How the hell did you get from behind me to in front of me with a gun guarding camp? Easy I would love to know. But I'm not going to ask because I already know. Oh, little Jack's around. Hi, I Jack. Thought to join the circus. Huh? Circus? No. Hey, mister. You worried your mother what you up to? Uh, I was fine. Really, I was. I ate spaghetti. What? Oh, it's He's still going thing. on about the spaghetti. It's, I don't know how to explain. Was it nice? Yeah, really nice. And the people? They were nice, too. Everything was very, well, different. I slept in a bed in a room. Like a cage. No, no, no. More like a palace oh. in a story. How nice for you. Our little prince. <laughs> mm-hmm. Boys got used to fine living now, Arthur. Yeah. I know. What could be finer than a home in a swamp surrounded by alligators? Very true. Very true. Well, little prince, tomorrow we begin reading again. I don't think he's keen on the idea, Hosea. So, you gonna look into this bank? Yes. I wanna make sure we're fully prepped before making any moves. For sure. That's a good idea. Okay. For well, once. Let's talk more later. All right, Arthur. All right, Hosea. Uh, hey, Sadie. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? 
How are you? Been quite a journey since I... Horseman. Well, since I joined you fellas. Apocalypses. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, uh, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Will you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come Robin with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, <laughs> there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. Mm -hmm. I think we can hit and? it. And? I ain't never robbed mm -hmm. in a city before. Well, you leave the planning to me. He'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make him change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they in the tree line. Everybody take cover! <laughs> Odrisco boys are coming! <sighs> that was perfectly executed, but oh my god, no! Kira, no! I was just starting to like you. Kieran! Oh, Jack! Run, guys! They are coming, and they are coming fast. Get to the front door, okay. Let me just try and hold them off. Go on. Okay. Damn crap. Come on, damn Crystal. Oh. What's happening? Crystal, hold in here. Stay away from the window. You tell Mr. Pearson. Okay, okay, okay. Get inside. Come on, quick. I want to take them all down, but I have to run back, so I will. Oh god, oh god. I'm at the mansion, do I go in? Oh, this is, how many of them do there need to be? I've got to go inside. But this is so far. Mmm. Need a remedy. Okay, I'm going in. Get them doors barricaded! Push the cabinet. Get those doors barricaded quick! Good. Now, everyone, I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side doors there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. Okay. Clear, 
Drink the tonic, Arthur. Okay. Everyone account. It's time to shoot. I think. Hey! I said oh, everyone a Karen. Where is she? Jump through the window and find Sadie. She's over. She's over here. Ooh. Ooh, Sadie. Are you okay? And miss all this? <laughs> okay, Sadie. Um, 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 um. Can I just have something that's like a hearty, you know, something to eat? Jesus. Nothing in my inventory. It's decent enough. Sadie? Oh, I need another. I need another health cure. Ooh, this is so bad. Okay. It's a snake oil. Did I shoot him even though I didn't even aim properly? We okay? I think so. Too good. Except too for Karen good. Here. Oh, <laughs> poor kid. Yeah. Mr. Swanson. Poor kids. Could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the box. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. That's gonna Already take a while. Come on now, work. Homo Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking uh, for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing mm. the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. So Make now we have to move again. Station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. What a mess. <laughs> Every single time. What do I say? What a mess. What a mess. Oh, that was oh, that was dark though. He saved my life. That must have taken them a while. His. Mrs. Yeah. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. So are we moving or are we not moving? Because I feel like we should move. But I don't know. The stew is currently being prepared. Okay. Mm. Poor Jack okay? as well. Yes. Just thinking about Karen. Yes. 
He was always living on borrowed time. Maybe. That's true, yeah. Well, I should get back to it. Okay. Should we do some wood cutting? But yeah, as I, as I was going to say, it must have taken them a while to like try and balance his beheaded head in between his hands and like have him r ride on a horse. Like there's, I mean, realistically, I feel like if you tried to do that with a person, their, their body would just like flop and just fall off the horse and stuff. It'd be too hard to like get it balanced enough, you know? But bless him. Kieran, we always gave him crap about being an O'Driscoll and ironically, that's what kind of got him killed. Um, I should have known though, I should have known when there was no mission to like go find, to go find him, I should have known that something bad would have happened, but oh, that was a scary sight, just seeing him ride in. And then them all turning up with masks. I forgot what you call those types of masks, but they're very, um, they're very different than the bandanas. They're a lot scarier. So, uh, but yeah, I feel like. I feel like it might be a theme of us slowly being taken out one by one. You know, I mean, it it all started at Blackwater. I was going to say first it was Sean and then, you know, now it's Kieran. But... It, it started way before that. So. Yeah. Um, but I'm pretty sure Dutch said that we had to move. This is what no? Like, I'm pretty sure he said we have to move. Here. which you know we have literally this is this would be our third time moving right this would be our third time moving camp but dutch wants to think bigger he's thinking bigger he's thinking leaving for good entirely which I don't think would happen, you know. Because I feel like then it would be a different game, right? <laughs> um, what's this over here? Pick up a sack? Okay. Take the sack to Pearson's wagon. Sure can do. They were quick in getting rid of the bodies as well, to be fair. There were, like, hundreds. <laughs> it was, like, well, not hundreds, but, like, maybe if you counted it up, like, maybe nearly a hundred. Okay, Charles. Bodies. Just lying everywhere. Okay, that's one sack. I do want to do the other. Because Pearson gave us grief about not putting the work in. Even though we're doing robberies, we're robbing stagecoaches, and the the camp, the gang is getting a cut of that, but apparently it's not enough, so. Okay, we're now we're bringing sacks to your wagon and moving hail bales across the camp and also chopping some wood just so you know everyone's happy <sighs> yeah I mean Karen Karen was very pleasant he was he was nice you know it was great to have him with the gang but 
It wasn't one of my favourites, so I'm not overly heartbroken. Even though I am quite gutted. But obviously, the way he went out was also very sad oh, and Arthur, not I nice. I believe those pigs did that to him. I know, yeah. Mary Beth. He was such a gentle soul. He was. He saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. I mean, I think we did, pretty much. But, yeah, I think the rest of them also can get it. And I, for sure, agree with that. I don't want to stop until every single Adriscal is dead. Gonna be a but, long day. with that being said, I am going to pause it here for today, you guys. So, thank you so much for watching this part of Red Dead Redemption 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then you know what to do. But otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.